Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome to something a little bit different. Today we're going to be starting a new series known as the Mod University, where we're going to be checking out some of the best mods that Minecraft has to offer. <laughs> well, maybe not some of the best mods, but some of the most creative mods out there and some of the uh, most weirdest ones I think we're going to do. So what do you think of my armor? How's it looking? I'm looking like quite the rugby star, I think, with my very beautiful flag. Oh yes. <laughs> and that gives you a rough idea of what we're actually going to be covering today. So the first one we're going to be doing is Plants vs Zombies, yes, this is a mod created by Country Gamer and it's not to be confused with the original J Mayo Man mod, this is actually a reincarnation of that mod which is pretty funky. Now it's currently a version 2.3 for 1.6.2 and there has been some changes so if you've previously played this on any of the previous versions it actually worked a little bit differently between 2.2 and 2.3 there's been quite a few mechanical changes in how this mod actually works and how you play it. Now it's a PvE mod so it works a lot like the Plants vs Zombies and gives you a good idea of whether you want to you know go down the creative route and uh, set up your own map or where you actually want to play it in your Minecraft survival world that can be done as well. So that's completely up to you. Now let's get cracking and look at some of the things that we're going to be needing. So the first thing that we're going to be using in this mod is going to be the greenhouse. Now this guy will allow you to create some of the plants that you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need is some chlorophyll and you do that by using the chlorophyll bowl, this one here. And then we're going to move on to some of the shovels. So to make these guys here, all you need is all this stuff. So you need some glass panes, some cobblestone and some dirt. So you know, simple stuff to get one of these guys. Nothing in this is really that expensive, to be honest. So you'd make one of those, and to make your chlorophyll bowls, you need chlorophyll. Now, chlorophyll can be maintained in many ways, so you can either use shrubs, you can use oak leaves, and they'll give you a different variation amount of the chlorophyll that you get. So you can check in any eye here that a couple of things give you different things. Cactus is probably the best one. Get a few cacti, and you get five of your chlorophyll, so that's pretty funky stuff. And that'll go into your bowl and give you a chlorophyll bowl. Very, very nice. Now, if we take a gander outside, we're going to see these guys in action. So the chlorophyll bowl, once placed down, you just leave it. And during the day, it's going to collect some sunlight. And during the night, it's going to collect some moonlight, which is quite nice. And with these sunlights and moonlights, you will use these to create your plants. Now, you do need a few more things before you can create your plants. You're going to need yourself some of these guys right here. You're going to need some pea pods and you're going to need some snow pods for some of the recipes. Now the pea pods are very easy. All you do is you get some chlorophyll and put it in a little cross like this with one in the middle. And the pea pods, all you do is this guy again with a little bit of snow. And these are your icy pods, which are very, very nice. Now if we crack on outside again, I will show you how you make your first plants. Yes, plants versus zombies would not be the same without some funky plants. So the first thing you're going to want to really be making is one of these guys, a sunflower plant. Now to do that, you're going to need a few things. So we're going to need some seeds, firstly, and we're going to need ourselves some sunlight. Yes, we are. So let's grab all these guys. Now what we do is we throw our seeds in here and throw our sunlight in these little guys here. And what that's going to go ahead and do is it's going to take a second or two and it's going to make us some sunflowers. Now sunflowers, when they're planted, will produce more sunlight, which is quite nice. So it gives you an added bonus of being able to get more sunlight, except from the chlorophyll bowls. And uh, you know, when you've got loads of zombies around doing all the thing and attacking you, you need all that sunlight for your plants. So definitely get crack and lacking with these guys. Now once you have your first plant, you're going to want to go ahead and plant it. Now you can't just go and plant it randomly on the ground, it doesn't allow you to do that, no. There's two different types of soil that you need in this mod. So if I bring up the uh, actual mod list here for plants versus zombies, and there we go, let's get rid of the rest of the rubbish. Yeah, that's better. We're going to need two different types of dirt. So we need endowed grass and we're going to need darkened grass. Now you can guess that the endowed grass is used for the daylight plants. If you ever played plants versus zombies, you know there'll be a daylight and there'll be a nighttime mode. The nighttime mode will use the darkened grass, which will be used with the shrooms, the mushrooms, yes. Now to make darkened grass, you grab yourself some sunlight and you just chuck it on the ground like that and that will give you some of this stuff. There we go, so we can make a line of that. And with the moonlight, you can do exactly the same and that will allow you to make the uh, to make the darkened grass, which is pretty funky. There we go. And you see it gives a cool little texture to it. Now once you put those down, you can then plant your plants. There we go. There is one of the sunflower plants. 
and he's gonna do his thing, you know, he's just gonna sit there and he's gonna produce sunlight, he doesn't attack or anything like that, and he does actually spin around, which is pretty weird actually, that you'd be, you got a sunflower plant staring at you, look at you all the time. <laughs> now once you've made your sunflower plant, you're gonna wanna make some, some offensive plants, so ones to attack all the zombies for you. And to do this, the first thing that you're really gonna wanna be making is a pea shooter, which is kind of the first real one that you're gonna be doing. So to do this, you're gonna need yourself some of this stuff, some pea pods. So if we grab one of these and we grab some sunlight and we take a trip to this one, what you're gonna wanna head and do is you're gonna wanna grab your, uh, you're gonna wanna grow, grab this guy, pop it in the top and your pea pod on here. And if you give it a second, this is gonna make your first offensive plant from the, uh, from the regular kind of uh, pod section here. So we'll give that a minute and it will do its thing. And this is gonna give us a pea shooter. Uh, the other thing that we can actually make after that once we've got our pea shooter is then everything can be upgraded, which is pretty funky. So the idea of the greenhouses is that once you have one, you can then upgrade all of them. So there it goes, there is our first pea shooter. Yes, if we throw another one of these in here, we'll do this. Or we'll just grab a few of these guys. So let's go grab a load of uh, pea shooter plants. And there we go. And these guys can be popped down on here and they're gonna attack the enemies for us. Now there's different grades of uh, pea shooters. So you have the regular pea shooter, you have yourself the repeater shooter plant which shoots two, and then you have the free peter plant which shoots three. And uh, you have the snow peat plant as well. Oh, geez, it's raining, it's raining. There we go, go away. The snow pea plant is a different type of plant that actually slows the enemies, which is pretty cool. So if we go over to another one of these, I'll show you how to make the snow pea plant. So to make one of these guys, you're actually gonna need yourself some snow. So you may have seen in the recipe list that we originally had snow in there, that is one thing that we're gonna definitely need. So let's grab ourselves a little bit of snow from here and uh, we'll grab a snowball, very, very nice. And what we do to make the snow pea is you grab a regular pea shooter like that, you put a little bit of sunlight in the top and a snowball here and that's gonna go ahead and that will create us the snow pea. Now, like I say, the snow pea is just a one-off. It's not actually an upgradable plant, but once you've got it, it just sits down and does its thing. The main thing you wanna be doing is upgrading your plants. So the next the next thing in the list of pea plants is the repeater plant. So to do that, all you do is you throw your pea plant in there, bit of sunlight in the top, and that's gonna go ahead and upgrade it into the uh, repeater plant, which is pretty funky. Once you have the repeater, you do the exact same thing, repeater plant, sunlight, and that will then give you the free peter, which is pretty good and uh, there we go one of the snow pea plants you can just sit down there there we go very nice they look so funky <laughs> i love it so once you've got your regular plants like this the next thing you have to worry about is night time so when it gets to night time that's when all the really bad people are going to come out it's when all the main zombies are going to come out you know it's, it's definitely not very good so we get all to protect ourselves from that time and the main time to do that or the main way of doing it is going to be with your shroom plants so the first thing you're going to want to make is a moon shroom, and this is, works like the sunflower, but allows you to make your moonlight. So to do that, we're going to need a sunflower plant first, so let's take one of these guys like this, and we're going to need ourselves some moonlight. So if we go and throw this in here, grab some moonlight and chuck that in there, and that's going to go and do its thing and give us the moon shroom plant. We should have our repeater plant by now as well, yeah, there we go, so we'll pop him there. And he looks pretty much the same, except he's got some more little funky hairdo going on there, he's obviously got the gel out. So if we take this one, and we'll upgrade this while it's doing it, so we'll pop them in there, and then, there we go. And leave him, and he'll give the free Peter plant. So once you've done that, you get the moon shroom plant. And these guys can be planted on the uh, darkened soil here. And these guys are gonna go ahead and repeat and uh, obviously make all of the moonlight for us, which is pretty funky. So the first actual shroom plant that can actually do damage is going to be the puff shroom. And to make a puff shroom, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to need, oh, our free pea is done. We're gonna need a regular pea shooter plant in here and a bit of moonlight. And that's gonna go ahead and make us the puff shroom. Once you've got the puff shroom, there are obviously two more after that and they're done in the same manner in which you make the pea plants by popping them in and putting down the moonlight and that makes those guys. Let's throw down our uh, triple head. Yeah, there we go. He's definitely looking like the cool one, isn't he? Ho <laughs> ho. All right, so let's get this one out. We'll get the uh, puff shroom out of here. Now the puff shrooms don't actually have uh, more heads or anything like that. They just uh, get a bit fat. So once we have the puff shroom, the next one from that, if we bring this up in any eye, is going to be the scaredy shroom plant and the fume shroom plant. Ooh. So let's pop these guys down. There we go. And you can see that is one big fat guy, one scaredy guy right there. And he shoots out loads of the little guys. Now, the one thing you can do as well is with the pea pod and the snow pods that you can create, you can also make the shroom pods. And they're the same chlorophyll with moonlight, and uh, you can actually use these as well. So you can just chuck them around and stuff, which is pretty cool. And they actually do a fairly decent amount of damage as well, which is quite nice. Yeah. 
So let's see how these guys hold up against some enemies, shall we? Let's see what they can do. So if we take a little uh, spin out here, we're going to go and uh, throw down a load of these guys. So let's get some sunlight. Here we go. So we're going to throw a load of these down. There we go. And let's go with, let's get some pea shooter plants and see how they hold out. I'm sure they're going to be fine, you know, they're, uh, they're pea shooter plants. There we go, we've got a whole line of these guys. And if we get ourselves a zombie, yeah, so we're going to go and spawn us a zombie. And this actually adds in its own type of zombie, you get the uh, zombie uh, <laughs> football man. And these guys can actually go and do their thing during daylight as well, which is quite nice. And they have the armor on, which is what I'm wearing. There we go. Oh, let's put ourselves into uh, normal mode. There we go. Pop this guy down, and they're going to start attacking. There we go. I see him doing their thing. Now, obviously, it's daytime, so he's not really going to kind of attack properly. Yeah, kind of has a bit of a moment. Let's go and set it to. Uh, let's go set it to nighttime. Bring it to nighttime. There we go. And now we can actually go ahead and uh, get out the regular zombies as well. So the uh, zombies with the football gear actually have more health as well. So obviously it kind of acts like leather armor. <laughs> How horrible. Let's take ourselves out of creative and they should start attacking us properly. There we go. Nice. Pretty good stuff. All right, let's go and throw down the next uh, line of defense, shall we? So let's get rid of these guys. And uh, when you kill them, you get your stuff back as well, which is pretty nice. Well, you, get, you sometimes get some of your stuff back. Oh, they're bringing their flags. All right, who's next? Let's try some triple head ones, because these guys apparently are pretty good. Wow. <laughs> so cool. And the last one that we have really to try are our shroom plants. So let's get some moonlight and uh, we'll do this. So let's throw down some moonlight. There we go. And uh, we'll pick some scaredy shrooms. And let's put down a puff shroom. And we'll put down a fume shroom. I think that's a thing. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we'll get rid of these guys because we don't want these anymore. And let's put down some zombies, shall we? Let's just pick, pick some regular zombies. Oh, oh, they're already making friends over here. <laughs> so you can see these ones shoot out pretty slowly. I think the uh, the kind of medium ones are a bit faster and these guys are pretty quick. So they kind of do their thing. But yes, that is the... Uh, that is the fun with plants versus zombies, and I'm getting attacked here. These guys are going mental. <laughs> Doing the thing. Love it. All right, back to daytime. You can go away, guys. And uh, we'll put it back to uh, put it back onto peaceful. There we go. Get rid of all these guys. Lovely jubbly. So that is pretty much it for this mod. You'll make all of these plants. Obviously, you can do it in like a PV environment, which is pretty funky. And uh, if you wanted to, you could also do it in like a creative environment and do it as kind of uh, kind of like a game map, which would work pretty well, I think. And you could even do it kind of multiplayer if you really wanted to. So it'd work in pretty much multiple manners on how you actually want to do it. The last couple of things really to show off are uh, the trowels which it adds in. So we have these guys. So if we bring it up in here, we have the trowel and we have the transplant trowel. The trowel can be made like this and the transplant trowel can be made like this. The trowel itself is used to dig up the plants. So it will dig up the plants and you'll get a varied amount of resources back. Whereas the uh, trowel plant will actually uh, dig up and it will give you more resources back. Or it gives you kind of an equivalent amount of the plant that you actually originally spent. So yeah, that is it. That is Plants vs Zombies by Country Gamer. I hope you enjoyed that one. In the next uh, mod spotlight, we'll probably be looking at some machines and stuff like that so uh, give me some suggestions and whatnot and obviously give it a thumbs up and uh, have a good one yeah so I'll see you guys soon goodbye This is the